Hello and good afternoon. I made, uh, I think, two or three videos where I actually uh, shared my emotions, my, you know, put my heart on the table and uh, said that sometimes I felt that I was at a breaking point. I felt, you know, down and depressed. Um, you know, look at the state of the world, how mad and liberal it was getting. You know, it's almost like you're putting a nail on a piece of wood and you're beating it with a hammer and you're waiting to see when will this wood break. It, you know, it's such as a madness of this liberal, wicked, satanic agenda. And I was, you know, cracking up and just put this on quickly. I, I was cracking up because I thought to myself, how wicked and, and, and how rotten could this world become? How liberal? Can it become? And, and you, you see all these, you, you, you watch all these um, programs where you have, you know, sort of trans people beating up women, call, call themselves women, you know, trans men, and they one trans guy, you know, knock the the the, the skull of this woman in the name of identity politics, in the in the name of this satanic liberal agenda and uh, it can take its toil on you and me being a sensitive you know kind of guy because I'm a musician I write poetry as well and I like flowers so I take things to heart and I thought to myself how could I deal with a liberal world how could I not find myself being overwhelmed by it, brainwashed by the liberal propaganda. And I decided, in fact, in January this year, I decided I'm no longer going to watch television. You see, we all heard of, you know, the, the, the LGBT who boycott certain companies because uh, these companies, you know, did not bow down to the gay agenda. So these, these, um, you know, LGBTs, you know, decided that they, they would boycott, you know, the, the, the um, you know, the, the, the companies. So they use their financial clout. Christians should also do the same. We should boycott liberal television. I'm talking about genuine Christians. Some fake Christians, they, it, it doesn't bother them. Some fake Christians, they love the liberal world. Some fake Christians, they love what they see and they endorse it and try to absorb it into, into the Bible. You know, so they love it. It doesn't affect them. But genuine Christians who feel like they're cracking up, genuine Christians who feel like they've had enough of the liberal programming, brainwashing agenda, well, you know something? We have financial clout too. We have money too. We should boycott liberal television, throw the TV out, or do what I do. I watch only 1950s films, 1960s, 1940s documentary that has no propaganda in them. No good old fashioned, heartfelt family, family movies. Or documentaries of educational interest. That way, and I'll tell you something now, since doing that, since stop watching all these reality, dirty, filthy programs, all this sex and filth, you know, there's one program I caught by accident. What was it? How what was it? Naked attraction. Naked attraction. You know, you got these people down on the TV naked. And you know something to, to look for their potential partners. And I couldn't believe it. I thought, what? Is that how desperate mankind has become? Going on TV naked, looking for looking for love. 
know it well, you know your granny's watching it, your, your aunts are watching it, you know your brothers and sisters are watching it, and you're there standing there naked, no shame. Yeah, this is Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, this world has just become vile. TV is not wholesome any, anymore. It's not educational. It's there to pervert us. It's there to not promote family values anymore. And it's there to brainwash us for the liberal New World Order agenda. If you want to know what the liberal New World Order agenda is about, then you need to look at this. It's a very powerful book. It goes into all this fake climate, veganism and brainwashing agenda. It's, it's, it's really makes a fast, it's, it's a humorous book, very humorous, but it has a very serious commentary to it and a warning of what is happening to us. We are being brainwashed to go against our nature and we don't realize how they're doing it. And the Bible says, be not of the world okay you're in the world but be not of it and the problem is we christians we live in the world and we are part of the world we actually endorse what the world is doing we we, we, we accept it we embrace it And we call it, you know, the, the new Christianity, the new tolerance in the name of love, peace and tolerance. The world will be deceived and television is one wicked satanic propaganda machine. It's there to brainwash us. The liberals are taking over. You know, just, just look up the left-hand path. Left-hand path. This means a cult, Satanism, darkness. It means no morals. So when you call yourself an extreme liberal, you have no morals. You're moving towards Satanism. You know, it's, it's all about individualism. It's not about being accountable to God or to righteousness. It's not about being accountable to good behavior. It's all about you as an individual and God does not fit in that picture. That's the real extreme leftist agenda. This wicked identity politics which will destroy Europe. Look, any lawyer watching, please, any lawyer, any barrister, any judge. Look, if, or if, even if you know any judge or lawyer barrister who wants to debate me, please tell, tell them I am. Come and debate me. And look, I haven't got much in the bank. But I will pay for the whole. I will pay for it. I haven't got much, but I will pay for it. Any, any place, Royal Albert Hall, anywhere, and I will pay for it. I haven't got much in the bank, but I will pay for it. Just to share the truth. Just to share the truth, I will bankrupt myself. Just to share the truth. Because truth is more important. And that is this liberal agenda will destroy your very sanity and western civilization you cannot build civilization on this liberal agenda it's going to backfire and you can see it already this trans man beat up this woman is happening day in day out bashing her and you think what game is going on what game if you're not careful you'll find yourself being brainwashed by this liberal agenda and that's the reason why I stopped watching television because I was becoming ill, worn down, it was negative. I thought, oh, I can't watch this. They tried to brainwash me. 
They try to change my behavior. And the Bible says, you're going to be the salt of the earth. You should be out there changing their behavior. But instead, they changing the church. Look at the church now. Liberal. You know, they changed the church. Why? Watching too much television. Too much television has done this. Which is why the church has become lukewarm. Lukewarm and basic. You know, the Bible tells you about lukewarm Christians. But it's very strange. You don't hear T.D. Jakes or Crepler Dollar preaching on lukewarm Christians for the obvious reasons. But, you know, you can't watch television with a vile propaganda brainwashing and call yourself a Christian. It's just impossible. You've got to be a fake Christian to watch television and not be affected by it. You've, you've got to be a fake Christian because what's on there is not for the glory of God. What's on there is brainwashing propaganda. Is there to change your mind. Is there to brainwash you. And I said, no, then I refuse to be brainwashed. And that's the reason why I have a library of DVDs, documentaries, films, you know, westerns, you know, western movies, Clint Eastwood movies, Charles Bronson, you know, you know, real men, unlike today, snowflakes, real men, action heroes, you know, and I, I, I'll rather watch that than watch the vileness that we've got on TV that is out to brainwash. I used to watch EastEnders. I don't watch EastEnders anymore. After seeing how they're trying to brainwash you with their liberal agenda, I've stopped watching EastEnders. I don't, I don't even watch the news. You know, you've got to be staunch. You've got to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. You've got to be staunch. You've got to say to yourself, either you're going to fall for the new world order or you're going to resist it. And I've decided I'm going to resist it. Throw your TV out or just switch off and watch DVDs, listen to music, go for walks. It'll keep you sane. Otherwise, you're going to end up falling for the new world order. If you enjoy this, this video, please don't be shy. Do share it because you too won't do it.